from the very beginning of the channel, but especially since I started doing short sleeve casual stuff, the most common request I've gotten from you guys is to explain that thing. My stupid tattoo. So I am going to explain it. I'll tell you where, when, why, how I got it, and why I think that for the most part, tattoos are actually a bad idea for like 90% of you. So let's do this. <laughs> because I guess you have to understand kind of the whole history before you understand why I decided to get this thing. Like you know, I'm from Salt Lake. Part of the tribe that I'm part of or part of the culture that I belong to being a Mormon um, is one that doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't look positively on tattoos. In fact, when I was in high school, this is what we heard from the leader of our church. The First Presidency and Quorum of the Twelve have declared that we discourage tattoos and also the piercing of the body for other than medical purposes. We do not, however, take any position on the minimal piercing of the ears by women for one pair of earrings. Now, at the time that I'd heard it, I wasn't too worried about it because I thought a tattoo was whatever. Like, why would I need to do that? I remember wanting to pierce my ears when I was... I don't know, fourth or fifth grade because of the movie Airborne. If you remember that, then you're as old as I am. It was about Mitchell Gooseman. Anyway, he's a rollerblader and he had an earring and he was like the coolest. Which kind of brings up my two other main tribes when I was high school. in high school. It was BMX and music. I was in a ska band. I rode a BMX bike. And for me, the majority of my life focused around those two things. Uh, my senior year, I got my first ever real girlfriend, and uh, it was good for, I don't know, a month maybe, and then I got to be everything that I now know you absolutely should not be in a relationship, but because of this tribe, uh, especially ska and punk and emo, where it was basically complete pedestalization of girls, and I'm a loser, and I'm never going to have the girlfriend, or why should you always date the cool guys, or all this other garbage, I just got really super clingy and really needy, and I was, I was dumb. Um, so she broke up with me, which obviously just whoo, spiraled crap even further. But once I graduated, uh, I had had a terrible relationship with my parents that year because of my bad relationship with this girl. I had lost all of my friends. I don't blame them. I certainly now wouldn't want to be around who I was then. I'm actually pretty embarrassed of who I was my senior year. That was at that point when my two main tribes became more important than, than the tribe of the church that I belonged to. And I wanted to identify with that and I wanted to mark something on myself because I was, I needed some sort of serious memento and a reminder that I'm going through bad things and they're not always gonna be this bad and all the really stupid reasons that 18 year old me could give myself for the necessity of a tattoo. And so I decided I was going to get one. And I ended up drawing this little thing. It's a candle flame. Uh, <laughs> even at this point that I'm willing to tell you guys this, I'm not quite willing to tell you all of the really stupid symbolism that goes into the different colors and everything else. And I think a lot of it is, as most 18-year-olds are wont to do, I wanted there to be more symbolism to it than there actually was. In fact, the whole reason that it's blue is it was supposed to be a really deep like rich shade of blue i tried to find the patch but if you remember the band saves the day they had a patch i i don't remember where it is never mind found it and that was the color that i wanted and so it was that blue and then white ink and you know obviously it's been 14 years it's completely faded away and so i went and i got it and it was a big deal because here's this mormon kid going against the grain and you know none of my friends who were up there had been willing to go that far and so i was pushing the envelope and for a long time i really liked it being in shirts and ties and dressed up and doing all this kind of stuff so this was uh my having the tattoo was definitely a good indicator of the fact that yeah i wasn't quite part of this this group so i get home and i still love the thing because 
again, it, in my community, amongst my people, it marks me as different. It marked, marked, it marked me as edgy, and it just, it was a really simple way for me to rebel. So I start to grow up, and then I go from having a really positive relationship with this thing to a neutral one. I'd had it for five or six years, and for the most part, I just didn't think about it, never really thought about it at all. And then I'd meet somebody new, and they'd get to know me, and then they'd finally see me uh, in a short sleeve shirt and see and say, oh, I had no idea you had a tattoo and you know, what's the history of that? You know, it's just, oh yeah, I, I do have a tattoo. And so it just became this kind of neutral thing. But again, it was kind of fun because it was this novelty thing. And then within the last two years, as my loyalty to my tribe and as my loyalty to my people has deepened even further, I hate the thing because, we're, okay, so we're getting ready to move and we're out in the new neighborhood and we're out, you know, checking out the playgrounds and the pool and what it's going to be like for the kids and we see other people who are out there and uh, I don't look like I belong to part of the tribe because I've got this tattoo. And sure, I mean, you could say, well, they shouldn't judge me and blah, 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 but it doesn't matter because it's not a moral judgment. I just don't look like I'm part of the tribe. And to me, that matters because I now, based on my appearance, have a negative frame of reference for the people that maybe I could have a good relationship with that I now have to overcome. And yeah, there's work to that and that's fine. I mean, that's the reality of where I am, but all of these things and all of these reasons that I, that I got it and that I wanted it, they don't mean anything to me anymore. I don't have the same attitude about life that I did 14 years ago. I don't believe any of those same things that triggered my wanting to get this dumb thing. And it's now a permanent part of my body that doesn't represent me at all. At all. It's not what guzzies do. It's not what Mormons do. It's not what guzzies do. And I don't represent myself or my people the way that I should when I, when I have this thing. So that's why it bugs me. The other thing is that as I see the kind of people who do have tattoos like I do, it, they're... They're pro, they're white trash, like, I, and don't get me wrong, and this is where I would say 90% of guys, you, you don't need a tattoo because for the 10% who it really does fit you well, there are guys who I still think look really, really cool with tattoos, guys who are very much into their own culture and that's, that's a big part of it. Um, I, I think they can look fantastic, but again, ultimately, if it's part of who your people are and part of the tribe that you belong to, then I think a tattoo can look really, really cool. But for the majority of people, they just look stupid, low class, and pro. And what I hate to admit is that if I were to see myself with this thing, it wouldn't look like I have kind of a rocker history and I've grown up past it. I certainly wouldn't look like the clean cut member of my tribe that I want to present myself as. I would just look like it's pro and white trash and it's this aesthetic hurdle that I now have to overcome. So that's the story of this thing. That's why this thing is something that, you know, I'm glad you guys noticed because it just proves the point that people pay attention to it. They get curious about it. They want to know more about it. And if you're considering doing one, uh, I would say just really think about whether or not what this image is, is something that you absolutely want to have be part of you forever. Um, I'm going to be looking into getting it removed. Uh, that's the plan, but I don't know if it'll ever be able to permanently go away. If that's not the case, then I accept the fact that there is, there are permanent consequences to my decisions, even decisions from 18 or 14 years ago when I didn't know as much as I should have known. So I hope that satiates your curiosity. I hope that gives you guys enough of a, a background and understanding to, to know why I did this thing, why I regret it, why I think that the majority of you guys are gonna regret it. Let me know what you think. What do you think of people when you see them with tattoos? Because I think of people of Walmart, uh, especially because again, you get a shark on your calf or a death star on your thigh and it just, it, it's not as cool as you think it is. You would like to think it is, but it's not. But I wanna know what you think. Do you have tattoos? How long have you had it? Do you regret it? Uh, are you considering one? If so, why? How does it work within your tribe and with what you're trying to communicate to the rest of the world? Let me know what you think. As always, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.